What is up, YouTube? Today, we're going to work on the spoiler. Hopefully getting a smooth finish before the day's out. Stay tuned. Filling in the spoiler are all the big nooks and crannies. Make a relatively smooth surface. We're going to sand it up here in a little bit and fiberglass it. Alright, so we filled in the worst of the voids, and now what we're going to go ahead and do, now that we've got, um, now that the shape's starting to come together pretty well, we filled in all the voids, I went ahead and shaved it off again, so now it's a relatively flat surface. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to sand this down and start really shaping it and make it, make it look right. And then we'll add some probably fiberglass resin and make the whole thing hard. And then we'll come back through with a final coat of resin as well as fiber. So I've got this it's fiberglass cloth. And that'll give us a lot of structure. And that'll give us a final plug for our mold.
gotten the shape that much closer. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, cause this foam doesn't sand the greatest, I'm gonna go ahead and coat this thing in some fiberglass resin. I'm not gonna put the fiberglass on yet, I just wanna make the material hard so that I can sand it more efficiently and get the shape better. Plus, cardboard's not gonna sand well, so we'll go ahead and throw some fiberglass resin on it and see if it doesn't harden up and work better for us. All right, so we filled in the worst of the voids, and now what we're gonna go ahead and do, now that we've got, um, now that the shape's starting to come together pretty well, we filled in all the voids, I went ahead and shaved it off again, so now it's a relatively flat surface. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna sand this down and start really shaping it and make it, make it look right. And then we'll add some probably fiberglass resin and make the whole thing hard. And then we'll come back through with a final coat of resin as well as fiber. So I've got this, it's fiberglass cloth. And that'll give us a lot of structure and that'll give us a final plug for our mold. And that's kind of the important thing about this project is that anybody could be able to do this. Like literally anybody could make, you know, this spoiler at their house. And instead of using this as a plug for your mold, this could literally be your spoiler. You just paint it and, and it goes onto your vehicle just like it comes off. So the technique is there and anybody could use it. And that's kind of cool in and of itself. So I think I'm going to So I think I'm going to call the video there. I appreciate you guys watching. I promise this spoiler is going to get done sooner than later. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.